Howdy lab partners and welcome to Hobby Club stream. Uh, Zach and Meg here Hi. as always. And um, today we are doing Seraphon. Seraphon's super popular army. Um, I think like everybody wants to paint this army. Or at least they did for a minute. But I think <laughs> yeah. they still do. I think they still do. I think a lot of them are realizing yeah. it's not the easiest army to paint. No. It has <laughs> a lot of room to be creative though. Yeah. Like you get really flamboyant with these things, yeah. which I enjoy. Yeah, yeah. It, it can definitely be a flamboyant army. I think we're taking it in kind of yeah. a flamboyant direction. That's a lot of what we're going to be talking about today. Meg, um, take us into what we're talking about today, speaking of which. Yeah, um, should we play the video or do you want me to go over let's, it? Let's talk, well, let's talk about what we're about to look sure. at. All right. Um, so I am working on my Raptodons. Yeah, we'll uh, put them at, oh, 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 there we go. Yeah, yeah. My Raptodons. Um, I was painting literally up to the minute of this show, trying to add some more color choices. Um, but these are the Hunters and the Chargers. Mm -hmm. So I uh, wanted to try out different priming bases. And so you'll see that it's the exact same color scheme, but half of them, I think it's the Hunters. Are the Hunters going to be our, our primed black? One uh, of them. The... The chargers are black. Chargers are primed. No, ch chargers are white. Hunters chargers, are black. Chargers yeah. are primed white and hunters are primed black. And two reasons why I wanted to try this. Um, one, to experiment, right? I think it's a cool thing to demo. Yeah. Um, as well as for myself. So there's that. And then also I do this thing where I like to have differentiators, um, on the battlefield. Yeah, it's good, of course. Yeah, like, they they look like they're from the same army, but they're slightly different. Yeah. Ever so, you know, they're just, they have different color skin, like us. Um, and I did this with my Tyranids. So, my Tyranids that gave off, um, shoot, now I can't remember the word. Synapse. Synapse. Yeah. Where one had one color carapace, um, while the rest had a different color carapace. So, I'm kind of trying to do the same thing here. Yeah. Make it um, and so the primer thing is interesting. Now let's jump into this video. Meg has prepared uh, a video showing what she has gone up to, how she got to where she is right here, yeah. which you just saw. So let's take a look at this. Meg, tell us what's going on in this. Sure. Um, so in the first shot, it's you can see how they've been primed. It's pretty straightforward. But I go through each color on its own. So this first color is from Cuttlefish, and it's called Vegas Nights. And I wanted to you know, just demo the difference between the white and black primer. It's it's a huge difference. With the black primer, I had to go over it like twice at least. Um, I think that first shot was only one coat. When I come back with the pink, you'll see the, uh, the second coat of the Vegas Nights. But this pink coat is also from Cuttlefish. It's called Kiss and Tell. And Really, when it was primed, when it was airbrushed on top of white, that was like one layer. I really didn't have to go back and redo right. it. And, on and, white. and the cuttlefish paint <laughs> is actually not particularly opaque either. Not really, yeah. but yeah, I mean, look how vibrant it is yeah. on on the white. The orange is luminous orange from AK, and then the yellow is phalanx yellow from Citadel. And actually, I was surprised at how well it went on the black. I mean, it it still isn't as bright it looks a little green which is <laughs> yeah normal. phalanx yellow such a good yellow yeah yeah citadel makes good yellows yeah it's super bright um and then i i kind of went over this I, you'll you'll see my models again i decided i didn't really care for these light colored scales on their back i'm going dark um but that's the gist of how I yeah, got let's here. jump back to yeah. this view and you can kind of see where things are at. Yeah, now. so I wanted to add some dark areas to the frills uh, just to give some contrast. I don't want these things to be just crazy colors. I mean, as much fun as that would be, it won't read well. We need some contrast in there. So right. I do want to have some dark areas. There's some other color choices I need to make today and I'm probably going to be asking chat. <laughs> some options, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, now while we're here, uh, why don't we talk about what, 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 what this all comes from, right? Um, Megan and I are, are doing this army together and we want to, we, we kind of made, we made some, we discussed a bit how we want this army to, to happen, like what we want it to look like. Yeah. Megan is mostly going to be painting the large dinosaurs in the mounts, like yes. you see there. I'm going to be doing the grunt work of painting the grunts. The grunt work. <laughs> the grunt work, which no, is... No, they're cool, too. They are super cool, and we'll talk about what we're doing with them yeah. as well here in a second. 
Um, but let's take a look at the insp some of the inspiration we had for this, some of the inspiration you had. For the Raptodons. For the Raptodons, yeah. right. Um, talk to us about your art board here. Yeah, um, so, I mean, colorful birds are always a good uh, inspiration, but specifically I like birds with a lot of contrast for this. I like the way... The, the birds are actually mostly black in these pictures, but the it really pushes the neons forward. And there's like a million cool birds in the rainforest that you can look to for inspiration. So I highly recommend checking out Planet Earth <laughs> for yeah. some good inspo for these types of colors. Any of the jungle, uh, jungle episodes on like a Planet Earth type show... David Attenborough can't stay away from like bower <laughs> birds. He just like gets into their nests and hangs out pretty much. Yeah. Um, so jungle birds, of course, of good course, inspiration. Yeah. I mean, we've talked about Lisa Frank. Yeah. Um, I think I think maybe over at Hobby Titans, but yeah. uh yeah, Lisa Frank is the bee's knees. I love her and I grew up loving her. And she's insane. Look at this. It's insanity. But that's the aesthetic. That's like what what I kind of want. Yeah. Um I mean, I'm toning it down with some of my darks, but I want color. Like, I want these to just look crazy. I'm always, <laughs> I, I, you and I were kind of talking about this the other day. I'm a really big fan of any aesthetic that just goes all in. Yeah. And so Lisa Frank, Barbie core, anything like that. That's so hot, hot right now because of the movie coming out. Anything like that where people are just like, okay, I'm just going all, I mean, even super like gothy stuff, right? Yes. Wherever people just don't stop. They they don't put on the brakes at any point. Those are like my aesthetics. I don't like subtlety in, in, yeah. in these kinds of design she aesthetics. She is just 100% fever dream. I love it. And I love it. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, and last but not least. And Synthwave. I mean, yeah. so we've talked to some of you guys about uh, what in, what is going to be the inspiration for our Seraphon army. And we've brought up Synthwave quite a few times. And so this is why I wanted to pull in some of those darker colors. Because it really just makes these vibrant colors pop. So I'm probably going to add some more darker colors as I go along to these dinosaurs. Um, yeah, but nice. Synthwave, it's pretty cool. Yeah, um, so we'll take a look at the artboard for what I'm working on in this army as well here in a second. Uh, as Meg gets started, I'll show you guys what it is that I'm, I'm going to be working on here. Um, I'm actually working on the, like I said, the little guys. And this won't show up too great, but we'll eventually get you guys pictures. That's okay, actually. We'll eventually get you guys better pictures. So what I'm doing here is all the little guys. Okay. Yep. Our plan here is that the riders, the skinks, <laughs> and the, the saruses um, are actually going to be pretty dark. What I've done here is I've primed this skink black. Then I did a zenithal highlight of gray, aka gray primer, on him. And then I did, uh, I took a paintbrush of the gray primer and I hit very carefully. Let me show you. I hit, I painted his, his little uh, frills here with the gray primer, uh, knowing that I'm gonna be going in with a contrast to tint the whole thing. Then, last thing I did before I tinted him, this guy's been tinted by the way, Citadel Contrast Doomfire Magenta. Before I tinted him, I used my favorite, AK Titanium White. And what I did with that is I hit him on the face a little bit, just to bring his face out a little bit more. And I also did, oh, I did, I did, the, I did a quick airbrush to hit kind of the back part of the frills here. Like the tips, but I actually don't think just it did a yeah, just the tip. Uh, I actually don't think it did a whole lot for the tip. Um, so I probably won't do that again either, and that's okay. That's actually great to learn when you're painting an army. You're like, oh, that step doesn't really have yeah. good ROI, so we'll pass. Okay, look, I also want to share my artboard, and actually, I oh, want to yeah. talk about a couple of things. So I have this painted bunting here. It's actually not a tropical bird. I think it's a. I think it lives sub. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But one of the things I really like and one of the things I'm kind of excited about with this army, because it's a little new for me, I'll admit, and it's a little scary, is just using a lot of different colors and just kind of letting the madness happen. I'm actually a little bit excited about that. So, um, you know, for, for me, that's that's new. Um, but the thing is that um, I kind of noticed that a lot of cool, um, a lot of cool ideas, uh, a lot of like beautiful animals in nature um, do this, right? So I have here the bunting, but if we go backwards, Meg, if you want to click on the little backwards button there, um, I have this mandrill here. Also, just like an insane clash of colors, right, on yeah. this thing. And I really like that a lot about, um, I don't know, like when we clash colors in design or fashion, 
uh, it causes eyebrows to get raised a little bit, right? We're like, uh, does that look good or is that, what's going on here? But I think somehow when nature does it, it seems to be able to get away with it, like with weird, crazy mm -hmm. animals. Um, we just accept like, okay, that, that, I mean, that thing has all of fur. It's supposed to look scary, right? I, I wouldn't I, want to mess with that thing. I don't, I don't know. Um, I think it's actual, like for mate attraction. Is it really? Yeah. I don't want to mate with that thing. Well, that's probably good. Yep. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. But let's not be honest. It's not those let's colors. Let's not be honest? I mean, let's be honest. It's not those colors that make you not want to mate with it. It just looks terrifying. And also, it's a freaking mandrel. Right. <laughs> so, uh, uh, from the mandrel's perspective, um, Probably doesn't want to mate with objective achieved for not getting human women <laughs> <laughs> to mate with it. Good moving, job, Mandrel. <laughs> good job, Mandrel. Uh, moving al uh, forward, along. Um, now, here is a poisonous dart frog. Speaking of um, crazy colors in nature, these things I feel like also often also kind of tend to uh, have their. Some of them have their colors. Like this guy is I specifically picked out for this reason. Like he has two very distinct things going on, right? Um, sort of like the Mandrel, like. He has blue, and then it's like, well, on top, instead of whatever, like, putting thought into it, it'll just be black and yellow. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, I love that. Like, Yeah. This is another, it kind of goes with the birds that I picked out, because um, it's got this super, super dark contrast um, to push forward all these really cool patterns on it. Right. It's bright yellow against solid black and very dark blue. It's really cool looking. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Um, I also, of course, picked out uh, some synthwave vibes of here. Course. Um, of course, Megan and I really did chat this army out. Kinda. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I have here some pictures of some neon lights in Hong Kong um, from, from in the 90s. Hong Kong was um, making some cool, like, noir movies that often had this vibe. Um, and I never would have known that, but I randomly took an international film class in college and Got shown a bunch of movies from Hong Kong. This group used kind of this classic uh, synthwave picture. Um, they also call this movement um, Outrun sometimes. Really? Um, that's usually when it has more association with cars. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, but but the, they all kind of go yeah, together. Yeah. Oh, wow. We glued some weapons all over the back of this skink. Yes. Is that not cool? Is this plastic glue? Yes. Okay. Did well, I, did I. I, I just don't know how I'm going to... Okay. Well, yep. Um, folks, we are still doing our Super Chat special. Yes. And so please do just add us some questions. Please do. Uh, Ty says, congrats on getting over 1,000 subs. Stream Marathon was super fun. What else can we do to help the channel? Oh, super Chat keep thank going. you for asking that. <laughs> but anyways, um, just just turn us on. Ooh, and... um. We'll help us out a lot by doing that. All right, babe. Oh, you know, I, uh, Megan, sorry. <laughs> that's what's going on. Sorry, I just put you... Clip it. I, remember Snorks? Vaguely. I didn't watch that one. They weren't cute. They were what? weird. They're weird looking. They, they had like beaks for mouths, right? No, they have like a little snorkel thing coming oh, off the top of their head. So who am I thinking? I'm thinking of something else. Yeah, but they're not cute. They're like little bean bags. Bean bags? What? They're, they're little. They're like Smurfs, but underwater. Smurfs aren't cute either. Smurfs really aren't cute. They're not. Liberty Fire says, "I don't bring dogs or burgers, but I'll bring chicken breasts, sirloins, or pork chops, and enough so they can be cut up and shared." Well, that's nice. But do you check with the organizer first? Yeah, you might that's be upstaging them. Yeah. Making, it, making them look bad. Yeah. With your delicious breasts. <laughs> yeah. I'd be into it. So um, you guys here, I was asking Meg which one's the airbrush one and which one's not nice, nice. and why we don't know the answer to that. And I like AK paints a lot. What I tend to do with them is buy two and I basically take one of them right away and open the, the cap off of it and fill it with airbrush medium uh, until, it, until it's pretty much up at the top. But I like the colors and I, I like the line. So I pretty much... I keep one as a normal paint, and then the other, I make an airbrush paint. But, um, yeah, we love you guys. We love talking to you guys. I, I do miss hanging out in chat directly a little bit, but this way I get to keep participating, which is fun. Yeah, do you get more done here or more Gosh, done? Gosh, no. 
Uh, actually, you know what? I probably do get more done because when I was in chat before, I was just like, da, 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 da. <laughs> like let's crack some jokes. Let's not pay attention to what's happening on screen. Right. Mm -mm -mm. So his little face has some white edge highlighting. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, it's a little blurry. A little more. <laughs> a little more. <laughs> uh, here's the other one, the, the black... Uh, Black Prime. Ah, they're going to look so cute together. Friends forever. Uh, Eric Haas, we know this guy. Yeah. Um, Hi, Zach, Eric. I know you're a fan of papercraft plans for bases. Do you do anything to prepare them first, or do you just cut them and glue them on? Got some of my own I'll be using soon. Listen, Ooh, Eric, I, I have to tell you that I I have become a little bit less of a fan of them. <laughs> I know, but like cuttlefish are like one of these things where they get like all the weird things. Like their, their evolutionary way of... It, lasting forever is like i'll just have a bunch of weird things that i do like yeah. i'll shoot ink i'll change color scary i'll um i'll have a shell i'll just be i'll have a shell yeah i'll just be a psycho right um do they have to be real like, like if they had oh. here I'll, to war gamers they'll say like the the nautilus or the platypus or the chameleon data sheet or War Scroll would have a ton of rules on it. And you'd be like, wow, this thing does all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do the sea beasts have to be real? <laughs> okay, the doctor painted this towel. Wait, don't tell me, Zach. Is okay. this a... Is this a... Is this a devil fish? Yeah, it is yes! a devil fish. I got it! <laughs> um, so this is from our Steven. We know this guy, yeah. We know this guy. I referred to it as Spawn the other day, but it's not. It's Venom, and I did know that. Um, and really you nice have opted job. here for the butt, the butt pick. Well, yeah. Wait, you said earlier, you just said something interesting, which I thought, is that if you turn it around, you get the other side. Yeah, you get the other side. <laughs> nice. Uh, if you want to see the front side, go check out Hobby <laughs> Finished. Yeah. At this point, you're doing yourself a disservice if you don't. Exactly. Yeah. You can see the tongue work. The tongue is really nice. <laughs> it is good tongue. I do love the good tongue. Good tongue work, Stephen. Yeah. I'm going to... Let's see. Got some dark frills. Uh, the faces have basically a white or very, very pale yellow um, edge highlighting. They're going to have pink eyes. They have pink on black nails. And I think I'm going to use... Mm, I think I'm going to use gold for some of the metallic decorations that they have on them and then i gotta paint the other side <laughs> i've only done one side i've actually finished their faces um which their faces really brought them out a lot um you guys probably won't oh, be able yeah. to see too much going on but you can see the faces are edge highlighted and the edge highlight i also do on the quill that red that dead red was perfect the, this guy was edge highlighted with dead red um and the turquoise guys were highlighted with this uh AK blue green. You can see that here's one of the turquoise guys, his little face. Um, and so what I'm doing is I'm using the, the different highlight colors. So this guy, I'm not going to make it any turquoise feathers. Actually, this sure. guy happens to have no feathers, but well. this guy will get a turquoise feather and he might get um, also the purple guys, mm -hmm. last but not least, will get, you know, some other guys will get purple feathers. So I'm kind of not adding any new colors to the army. 